think this will be it. Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, yep. The game that will not die, much like Skyrim, yeah? <laughs> Hope you're having fun with the, uh, the old GTA. Grand Theft Auto was five. It, like it was, it was fun and fine when it came out. But I don't know it's been a hot minute, you know. I think it's been around for like eight or nine years at this point. So, and all the music is dated. Like it's good music. Like um, what, what channel did I tend to listen to? I think it was like Mirror Park, that station. And also the one um, hosted by Cara Delevingne. I really like that one too. Okay, so we got 182 for Cloud and 64 for Ares. Have they um, solved the, um, the mystery of Mount Chiliad yet? Like, I've been waiting for some motherfucker to solve whatever... Whatever the deal is with that place. And it's been like... It's a, it's approaching the 10 year mark. It's like, can you please solve this mystery so that, you know, I, I no longer have to think about it? Sixty-five for Ares and... 183 for Cloud. Big bull. Big bull. Got the next gen version. I love the new radio stations and 60 FPS on console. Interesting. I'll have to check out the um the soundtrack for the um the new gen uh, version. Because it would stand to reason that that they would have um, updated the music, yeah. Alright, 66 for Ares and 184 for Cloud. Yeah, I mean, I played it. I played it on, um. Oh god, what was it? I think I played, um. Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 3. Yeah, I've been playing on PlayStation 3. That's what I've remembered it from. But yeah, we're up to what? PlayStation 5 now. Good luck getting one of them. But uh yeah. Like I'm I'm PC Master Race and emulation now. Like I don't I care not for consoles. If it can be emulated, then I'll play it on the computer where the capabilities of a PC are far greater, you know. Alright, one, two, three, so 187 for Cloud. We might be able to do this before the 8 o'clock mark. So Eris needs um, another, uh, how many do you need, girl? She needs another 14. Cloud needs another um, 13. It's so a neck and neck. Alright, one one. Sixty seven for your girl, Aries, and a hundred and eighty eight for Cloud. The new stations are also on Xbox One, PlayStation, and PC. I mean... I've always found, um... I think I tried it once. Playing, uh, GTA V on PC. It was a hassle. I think you gotta go through the, the Rockstar launcher, yeah? And I'm just... I'm not about that life. So many launches, you know? Like the Epic Launcher, the Online Uplay Launcher, 
Bethesda launcher, which uh, shut down. Um, what are the ones? The orange? Did I say Origin? I think there's an EA launcher, Epic Games launcher, Steam. It's like, guys, calm down. I'm only going to use Steam. I'm only ever going to use Steam. GOG. We're getting closer now. Fairly close. Yes. Thank you for um, saying um, glad you're better in regards to the current stuff. I only got it mildly. I'm not sure what like variants of Corona I got, but I wasn't too affected. So that's good. One, two, three. So we are at 192.4 cloud. Aerith is lagging behind. Oh, I speak too soon. So cloud has just got the other uh, level three. Very nice. Very nice. And we might be able to get... Yes, we might be able to see it um, earlier than um, normal because... Ares is still on her level 2. And we'll get the Fury Brand to bring up uh, Cloud's um, thing. It's gonna be great. Even using the physical DVD ROM version sadly forces you to use it now. That's fucked. Yeah, that's not good. And they're going to force it in the next version of GTA, which is probably going to come out either end of this year or next year. Alright, it's time to see the Meteor Rain. Are you ready for Meteor Rain? Oh. Touch my dick. Oh, baby. That's it, man. That's it, man. That's what we want to see. I wish some um, game companies would just like realize we don't want de novo, we don't want all these launches, we just want ease of use and affordable price, and then we wouldn't have to resort to piracy. That being said, um. I'm far, far less into piracy than what I used to be. I wasn't heavy into it, um, but I'm just saying, like, in the 90s and in the 2000s, it was definitely more of a thing, I feel. Whereas now, people just don't have the time to pirate. They can't be bothered. Ares is now at 70. We, we got off one me Meteor Rain. So I'll mark that down. I think in order to open up other um, ones for Cloud, how many do I need? He needs to do it six times. To get to uh, fishing, finishing touch. So we'll, we'll visit the Hell House very soon. We just need to get um, Aerith... Ares up to level 3. Bum, 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 No holiday 2024 or early 2025 is GTA 6's launch window. Fuck. That's a long way away. I think they're just gonna milk the um what do they call the the, the game? It's a it's a it's a type of community where everyone's role playing in the GTA 5 universe. That's apparently still very popular. I don't get it myself. I really don't get it. 
like initially it's like oh, okay that's kind of cool but then it's like why aren't you playing all the new games why are you still playing gta 5 and role playing i don't get it all right so i think that's three more 73 for errors got that level up All right, we've, we've hit the eight minute mark. We've only got the um, the level three for one. But that's fine. We'll get it for uh, Eris very soon. And then we'll continue on with the rest of the game. We won't be uh, grinding like this ever again. This was just to make sure that we unlock level three for everyone going forward. So 75 for Ares. There you go. Got the planet protector. Nice. Protect my planet. That's the one. That's the nice one. Makes all allies invincible one time. So basically you, you rock this one in one fight. Invincible. Very handy in certain situations. They're in late pre-production right now. I have a uh, few connections. Interesting. I think uh, we'll drop the, the save. We want to get that MP back. And then we want to get the finishing touch and the, um, the pulse of the planet. And then we can finally progress further into the game. I reckon there, I reckon there were people that popped in here thinking, Oh, Final Fantasy VII, great. You know, he's just starting out, cool. We'll get to see Midgar. I'm like, nope. <laughs> you can't see me grinding for like fucking three or four hours. I didn't sign up for this. My house, my rules. That's how it be. Nice. Very nice. How much monies we got? Almost 30,000. That's a nice wad of cash. Nice wad. Now where's that hell house at? Where's my hell house at? First, we're gonna bolt him. Hopefully, this just forces him out. There we go. He's he's turned into angry house. I accidentally cured myself then. I think we'll move Cloud back in front. I think I moved him into the back row. Oh no. There we go. What about Ares? How many times does she need to do the planet protector? Five times. Okay. Ugh. 
We want to see that one all the time. Just hit me with the 93 attack. It's bang, bang, bang. It's not cooperating. Ideally, we don't want Ares to use her one yet. Or rather, we want Cloud to also be able to use his. So, please target Cloud. I did say I was going to draw. Yep. I'll, I'll be doing the draw after I finish this particular fight. I'm invincible. You're dead. Get wrecked. I've used the planet protector once and I've used the meteorian meteor rain twice. The pre alpha engine's test looks promising though. It appears that there's an idea for more interiors and neons and translucent foliage to allow for light to pass through, adding a god ray effect to Vice City. That'd be interesting. But, you know, talk is cheap. You know, it's it's all about what we see in front of us at the end of the day. So, I mean, sounds nice. But, I mean, like, the um, Project Code Red people, Project CD... CDPR? I, I can't remember the name. The people that made um, Cyberpunk and Witcher. Like, they, they said that um, Cyberpunk was going to have all these great things, and then when it came out, it's like, oh. Hmm. So it's not that I distrust Rockstar, it's just uh, I distrust hype. So, we'll see what we get at the end of the day. The demos that they show, like, pre launch, they're going to be very different to what end users to end up getting, so... That's all I'm saying. I don't even know why I'm going back to have a, a rest, but... It's fine. Who doesn't want to go to Aerith's house to sleep in her bed? Any chance you get? I'm taking that chance. It's gonna bother me. I need to double check the the poster that's on the wall. Okay, it doesn't look like there's an easy way to look at that. So that's that's not a um a turtle paradise pick, uh, poster. So. Save. Such calm music. Look at these limits. Oh. The whole reason why I'm doing this is so... I'm of the belief... I believe that in the past when I did do this... It did... You know... It, it happened as intended. 
um, what was I going to say? Like, once I reached level 3 and unlocked all 6 of the limit breaks for these two characters, every character I met afterwards also had all of their 6 uh, limit breaks unlocked. So the idea is to put in the work now so that I get all the limit, bre the limit breaks for everyone going forward. So in other words, I'm very smart. God damn it. Yeah, then again, I have this extremely early access information. Um after the disaster launch of the expanded and enhanced physical edition, I'm very nervous about how GTA 6 is going to launch. I think they may have learned their lesson. I mean, it's hard to fuck up that bad twice in a row. But we'll see, we'll see. They did not let retailers know what the actual release date was. That's not good. When you sign agreements with your, um, your, re your supply chain, you know, they expect certain information because, like, as big as that company is, like, it, it's not the only thing that they sell, you know? Ow! Don't kill Cloud! There we go. <laughs> yeah, bash bash up Ares for a little bit. I want to get both um, limit breaks off. There we go, that's good. Yeah, keep hitting her. Wow. She's getting literally beaten to death. <clears throat> Ow. Alright, that should bring up her limit break. Very nice. Stop hurting my heiress. Ow. There we go. Is that it? No, not quite yet. Bonk. Do the bonk attack to Cloud, damn it. That's not gonna be enough. Need to smash him. Smash him! Not her! Damn it! How dare you! This might do it. Here we go. Ah, she is invincible! Meteorine number three. Bang, 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 bang. It's not that much experience, it's good. Oh, Hell House. Come out and play. Where you at, boo? Where you at?
No thanks. Give me the house. Give me that big old house. I keep. Okay, this is the third time I've forgotten to do the um the draw. I'll run away. Then I'll, I'll draw it. Alright. So let me see. Where's the page that I need to get to? No, I probably need to go to the... The public page. All right. So, let me just pause the music for a bit here. Um, ba 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 ba. We go up to. Oh wait, I didn't see this bit here. And to make matters worse, they did not provide enough copies um to the local stores near me. Walmart only got five at the one location, fuck. Three at the other Walmart, two at my local Best Buy, which didn't even have it on the shelf. And I, and such as where I picked it up, and such where I picked it up. The only store near me that got a decent stock was GameStop, formerly EB Games Express. Got ten. That's wild, man. Like a game like um, GTA Five, like the re-release version. Don't have like ten at most at a particular store. It's just it's just dumb. But that's that's the kind of love that physical release gets nowadays, I guess. 